Hey guys, in the last video we saw how we create how we can create HDF5 files using pandas by uh, um, exploiting this HDF5 store class. And in this video we're going to be doing the opposite. We're going to be reading uh, HDF5 uh, files created using pandas or, or which contain pandas data frames. So let's import pandas. We don't need uh, numpy. Import pandas as pd, and then we're going to be using the same class HDF store but notice now the mode is r it's reading last time we saw that we can change the mode if we want by default it's a if the file exists it appends to it if it doesn't exist it it creates it but now we're setting it to read so we're assuming the file already exists and we're gonna read from that file so let's run that and now i have um this hdf store object saved in hdf and if i look at you know the methods i'm sorry let's let me, let me just close this bit first have a look at the methods in there we can append but notice now we, we're not going to append because we're reading so append only in write or append mode but we can for example use get or let's have a look at if we have any groups uh you can see it sees these guys as uh, groups but the one we're interested in is you can have a look at maybe items as well if you want but what we want is basically get I'm sorry not get first we have a look at the keys that we have in there so let's have a look at the keys it returns a list of keys okay so we have a key called slash df1 and another key slash df2 and by the way using the slashes we can manipulate the groups we, 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 we can have groups and subgroups and so on and so forth but let's keep things simple here so the keys are df1 and df2 that's a list of keys and then if i want to get you know for example the data that comes with df1 then i can say for example df data frame one equals hdf dot get and then i tell it okay give me data in df1 and now if I check the type of df1 it's a pandas data frame and the content it's a data frame so I can uh, use head for example oh I'm sorry df1 not df df1 and then I can have a look at the contents of the data frame that we saved last time okay likewise we can access the contents of the uh, key too so the keys have a look at the documentation it returns a list of keys corresponding to the object stored in the hdf store that's the keys and then once we have the keys we can use the get method to retrieve the pandas object stored in a file using that key okay so the pandas object can be a pandas data frame or series or a panel any pandas uh, data structure basically okay so that's how to read data from uh, hdf stores using pandas um, what else can we say in this video? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, quite useful stuff. And stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.